The Creation by James Weldon Johnson. And God stepped out on space and looked around and said, I'm lonely. I'll make me a world. And as far as the eyes of God could see, darkness covered everything. Blacker than a hundred midnights down in a cypress swamp. Then God smiled and the light broke out and the darkness curled up on one side and the light stood shining on the other. And God said, that's good. Then God reached out and took the light in his hand and he rolled the light around in his hands until he made the sun. And then he set that sun ablazing in the heavens. And the light that was left from making the sun, he gathered it up in a shining ball and flung it against the darkness, spangling the night with the moon and stars. And down between the sun and the moon, God hurled the world. And God said, that's good. Then God himself stepped down and the sun was on his right hand and the moon was on his left, and the stars were spangled about his head, and the earth beneath his feet. And God walked, and where he trod, his footsteps hollowed the valleys out and bulged the mountains up. Then God stopped and looked and saw how hot and barren the earth was, and stepped over the edge of the world and spat out the seven seas. He batted his eyes and lightning flashed. He clapped his hands and thunders rolled. And the waters above the world came down. And the cooling waters came down. And the green grass sprouted. And the little red flowers blossomed. The pine pointed its finger to the sky and the oak spread out its arms. The lakes cuddled themselves in the hollows of the ground and the rivers ran down to sea. Then God smiled again and the rainbow appeared and curled itself about its shoulder. And God said, that's good. Then God raised his arm and waved his hand over the sea and over the land and faster than he could drop his arm Fishes and fowls and beasts and birds swam the rivers and the seas, roamed the forests and the woods, and split the air with their wings. And God said, that's good. Then God walked and God looked at all that he had made. He looked at his sun and he looked at his moon and he looked at all his little stars. He looked on his world and all his living things and God said, I'm lonely still. So God sat on the side of the hill where he could think. By a deep wide river with his head in his hands, he thought and he thought until he thought, I'll make me a man. By the bank of the river, God scooped the clay and by the bed of the river, he knelt him down. And there, this great God Almighty, who lit the sun and fixed it in the sky, who lit, who spangled the star, <laughs> who flung the stars to the last quarter of the night. Here, this great God Almighty, like a mammy, bending over her baby, toiling over a lump of clay until he shaped it into his own image and blew into it the breath of life. And man became living soul. Amen, amen.